Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a get ready with me and I'm just doing a cute, soft, natural glam and I'm gonna show you guys what I do to my hair and everything. So before that, I'm just taking a shower and doing some skincare. Nordstrom did send me over some of these products. So thank you, Nordstrom's. These clean beauty products are free of sulfates, phthalates, parabens, petrochemicals, mineral oil, silicone, and talc. Nordstrom is also working towards environmental sustainability for our planet and allows you to bring empty containers to be recycled for eventual reuse. So if you guys want to know more about the clean and sustainable beauty or the products I'm using in this video from Nordstrom, check out my bio. I'll have all the info there. So like I said, I am just doing some skincare. I have been loving you to the people lately. I did buy some of their products a little bit ago when I was trying to clear out my breakouts so now i'm just working on scarring so i'm trying to incorporate some ahas bhas and vitamin c and everything so yeah again thank you nordstrom for sending me over some of my favorite products and let's get into the makeup and this is one of my favorite looks i've done so far so i hope you guys stick around and enjoy it so i'm starting off by priming my face i'm using my elf power grip primer and this essence one that I got from Ulta it's like a glow primer and then I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows I'm first setting them with a translucent powder just so the product sticks and I'm just using my brow pencil to fill them in um, I always do my eyebrows the same very natural and just creating hair like strokes and then after that I'm gonna clean them up with some concealer today while priming my lids um i'm really excited too because i have a good amount of new products to show you guys so i have my bare minerals concealer this product is so good it goes on really smooth it doesn't dry up super fast and it's really good coverage so i am carving my brows and um, priming my eyelids at the same time and just blending that out with a brush and then a beauty blender and i'm gonna set everything with a translucent powder and all the products will be linked down below if i don't say what something is it definitely will be in the description box so i'm honestly not sure what i'm going to title this video because it's a get ready with me so i'm doing my makeup and my hair and i was going to brunch so i was trying to pick out an outfit but i ran out of time so i didn't really get to show you guys what i wore so i don't know if i'm going to title this like a get ready with me or just a makeup tutorial since that's the bulk of the video but you guys will know by the time you watch it anyways i color corrected my face set that with a powder and then i'm starting on my eyes and i'm not sure off the top of my head what this palette is called but like i said i'll have it in the description box but first i'm starting off with this warm brown shade and i created like a v um on the outer corner of my eyelid and then i'm bringing it upwards towards my eyebrows and to place the product I'm literally just packing it on at first until I don't have any more product on my brush and I'm using a very dense eyeshadow brush to do this and then once I feel like I have enough pigment then I'm gonna go in and blend with this lighter transitional type of shade and I'm just sweeping it across the edges. I'm not going into the shadow because I wanna keep the pigment and only focus on blending the edges and where anything looks harsh and unblended. So I'm just doing that until I feel like it's diffused out enough and I'm gonna take this dark brown shade and that's going to be my crease color so I'm just packing that on like the very top of my crease and I'm going to use a eyelash curler to kind of map out where I want that darker color to go on my crease. Um, I didn't apply too much shadow so you really can see what it did on this eye but on the next eye I'm going to show like a little more pigment. Um, so you guys will see right about now <laughs> it creates kind of like a cut crease a little bit but I don't want it to be super cut so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out until it's diffused into the warm brown shade. For my lid color I knew I wanted it to be some sort of light brown matte 
Um, I wanted everything to kind of diffuse together, um, but I wasn't really sure like how dark I really wanted it to be. So I just started mixing certain browns. The first one is from this Morphe palette and the second one was from the um, Master Mattes palette. I'll have both of them linked. And then I'm going in with this, the lightest shade on the Morphe palette and putting that on my inner corner. And then later in the video, I am going to want to brighten up my lid. So I'm going to bring this on top of the kind of medium brown shade that I already have on my lid. And yeah, so now I'm going in and I'm doing a winged eyeliner. Um, I'm using my Stila liquid eyeliner pen and I'm creating a very thin line all the way across my eyelid. I'm trying to keep it as close to my eyelashes as possible. Of course, if you mess up and go a little thicker, that's fine, but just try to keep it as thin as possible. And then I'm going to work on my wing. And for my wing, I really want it to be very thin and not going at like a harsh angle upwards. So I'm trying to keep it kind of straight if that makes sense and then I'm just going to do a very thin line on my inner corner and this is also a new product that I've been trying and I love it it's one of the best eyeliner pins that I've tried and it has two sides so one side is bigger and they have a, a mini tip for just fine detailing and stuff like that And so now I'm going in and covering up my color corrector. I'm using my Bare Minerals Concealer. And I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender. These beauty blenders are from Amazon. I think it was like $10 or $12 for a pack of six. So really good deal. And they work honestly like the same as a beauty blender. So now you guys just saw me clean up my eyeliner and my eyeshadow. And I'm just blending out the concealer. I am using the same concealer that I use to prime my lids and on my face. So now I'm using this Dior foundation. I'm not sure of the specific name, but a description box, like I said. I've been recently applying my foundation with a foundation brush and kind of placing it where I want it to go before I blend it out. And I just find that blending takes like half the time if you place everything out on a, in a thin layer. Um, all over your face it saves time and it's easier to blend so I feel like this shade I mixed it with my concealer so I feel like it made it a little too light when I bought the foundation it was too dark so that's why I started doing that but I think I've maybe got a little bit of a tan so I think I would have been better off just using the foundation by itself and now I'm just highlighting my face so I placed my bare minerals concealer in the shade honey on the normal places that I like to highlight with concealer and then I used a lighter um, concealer shade and I used the Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer. I think that one is the more creamy one and I put that right on the inner part of my under eyes just to brighten that area and then I used a little lipstick brush to kind of diffuse the products out before I went in and tapped it in with my beauty blender just to make sure everything was blended and like I said it saves so much time when you kind of like diffuse out your foundation or your concealer before going in with a beauty blender and blending everything out. So next we're doing um, we're setting our under eyes. I'm using this elf halo glow powder and I'm setting it with an eyeshadow brush. I'm just tapping the product in. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with a powder brush or, oh no, I'm not, I lied, I'm sorry. I'm going in with a cream um, blush. This one is by Patrick Ta. I'm putting that kind of on the outer corner, outer part of my under eyes. And then blending that out first with the foundation brush or concealer brush, I'm so sorry. And then with, a beauty blender and then I'm going in with this little puff powder puff and or whatever these are called and I am baking my face and I like these because you can really cut that side you know the sides of your nose um, and then I'm going in with the other color from my Patrick Saw blush duo and I'm gonna just put that right over the blush the cream blush
All right, so before I go in and contour, I'm going to wipe away my translucent powder. I think I used the Laura Mercier translucent powder all throughout this video. And I'm using my NARS bronzer. That's like the only bronzer that I use. And I'm going in and just bringing color and warmth back to my face. So I'm using an angled brush and I'm doing light tapping slash sweeping motions. And when I contour, I really don't do it to a T, like to perfection. I just, like I said, I'm just trying to more bronze my face up instead of, um, you know, have a heavy, sharp contour. So that's why I mostly just use a powder because you can really diffuse that out and just give your face a natural bronze instead of a very sharp contour. So yeah, just contouring the normal areas that I usually do. Um, you guys have seen me do it a billion times, so I don't feel like I need to really explain, but I'm just also contouring my nose and just going down the sides and underneath my nose. All right, so taking that first brown shade, we use the warm brown shade from the Morphe palette. I'm taking a dense brush and just warming up under, underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna touch everything up. So I'm adding a little more blush. If anything also comes off too heavy, I just diffuse that out with a beauty blender. I'm adding more of the lighter color eyeshadow just because I just wanted that area to pop more. And I think I'm also gonna go in and fix up my eyeliner on my inner corners because the powder can get on top of it and make it look, look less intense. So just deepening everything up and then I'm taking this lip liner I think it's by dose of colors and I'm using that in my waterline because it is a really light color so I really don't use it for my lips and after I do that I'm just setting my face with the milk I think it's the hydro grip setting spray I don't know if it's hydro grip I forgot what it's called but I will have it linked below and then I'm doing lashes today so I put on some mascara and like I said I took this lighter color and I wanted to put that on my eyelids just to create a little bit more contrast in my eyeshadow. So I'm just putting that on top of that brown shade that I had on my eyelids. And once that's done, I am going to highlight my face with, I think this is the ColourPop highlighter. And yeah, I'm just highlighting in all the places I want my face to glow when the light hits. And today I am putting on lashes. I usually never do this i really don't think i've ever done it in a video maybe once um but i found a better way to apply them i just cut each strip into three and then place them on my lashes or my lash line one piece at a time and if you're not good at applying lashes or they always look kind of like uneven to you this is a good way and a very easy way to apply lashes like you really can't mess up when you cut them you can cut them into three pieces four pieces to like just do whatever you feel comfortable with and i promise it'll be so much easier and look so much better and now moving on to lips i'm lining my lips with this elf lip liner and then i'm going in with this revolution cream blush and i'm applying that to my lips you guys know i love using blush as a lipstick and i'm using this patrick ta lip gloss it's like a lip plumper gloss and then i'm setting my face again and then I'm moving on to hair. So this hairstyle, I didn't, I just kind of did it like randomly. So I'm adding clip-ins to the bottom half of my hair. So you guys saw me section it in half and I was going to do like this high ponytail at the top. But I kind of changed it last minute just because I didn't know how to add the clips to the ponytail part. And it looked very weird having short hair at the top and then long hair at the bottom. But you guys are going to see that towards the end. For now, I'm just sectioning off my hair at the top and kind of working on getting it sleek. First, I'm applying this got to be spray and slicking it back into place. And then I'm going to take my ponytail holder out and redo my ponytail after everything is sleek. And I decided on crimping my hair because that's really the only way my hair blends into extensions. Um, and it just looks really cute. So I just took kind of medium sized sections 
and crimped my hair and it blended and looked way better than if I was to keep it straight or straightened it and yeah so you guys see how I have the ponytail at the top I decided that was just not cute because I didn't want to have to add either bundles or clip-ins to that section because it would just be too much work um so yeah that looks ridiculous <laughs> so I decided to take that part down at the top, which was really hard because I already used got to be glue um, hairspray. Uh, so I had to like use my cellar water, get it off and then kind of bring the hair down. So instead of putting the ponytail straight up, I kind of put it back and then put a clip underneath. And I feel like that made it look more natural. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.